Hey Aaron, I am Trevin Swenson. I am from Rupert, Idaho, and I've been skating for three and a half months, and I need help with my front side 180s, and I have a sick Batman shirt, and please help me. So, good. Your ollies look sick. Almost as sick as your sick Batman shirt. Just, just throwing that out there, letting you know. Hmm, El Fascinato. So interesting. Watch your shoulders. Your shoulders are trying to turn, but your head is not turning. What you should pretend is like, you see that person that just came out of your door? You should pretend like you're going to look at them. Um, I'm not sure where your eyes are going. It kind of changes each one, but you want to have your eyes go in the direction you want to turn. That's very important. I love that you're doing this practice step, by the way. It is very helpful. Um, you are skipping a step, though, and that is... Like in the actual practice steps as given in Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, you drag your front foot up the board while you're turning your head and shoulders. So you're skipping steps there. Um, but honestly, with the board control, like every time you go to do it, you just wildly lose control of your board. If you can help me, that would be great. Thanks, Aaron. I can help you. Don't worry. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Cool. So watch your head right here. Your shoulders are trying to turn, but your head stops. Right there, your head stops. But the bigger problem than that, it, the bigger problem than turning your head and shoulders is just getting a good ollie and having the board stick to your feet. Because notice as soon as you pop the board up, your feet go, but your board just goes wildly out of control and goes away. The reason the ollie has to be fully, fully, fully mastered before you get into the front side 180 is because you're doing a full ollie and then you're adding the step of turning your head and shoulders and then turning your legs. So it is an ollie 180. It's not a 180. It's an ollie 180. And the part that you're kind of skipping out on when you go to do the 180 is the ollie. Like you're standing still and you do some ollies. And they're okay. You definitely need to work on getting those better, though, because as soon as you go into doing the front side 180, you, like, change everything you're doing with the ollie and lose total control of your board. So keep that in mind. It's You have to think of it like, oh, I'm going to do an ollie, and then, eh, you know, as soon as my board goes up into the air uh, as an ollie, which I already know how to do, then I'm going to turn my head and shoulders and then make it do a 180. Wouldn't that be incredible? And then you would do it, but you have to make sure you get that ollie down to a point where... I guess the point is where you can kind of do it without it being too hard, too efforty. Like you did land your ollies and you did get them up into the air, but I want you to be able to ollie so good that you don't have to think about it at all. And then you can just add in that step of turning your head and shoulders and you will get it. So if you were watching Skateboarding Made Simple, Volume 1, you would know there's a couple practice steps in there that you're skipping out on. Um, make sure you do those. It's like dragging your front foot up while you turn your head and shoulders. And I think that's probably a big part of why you're not getting a good ollie. And then the 180, so ollie 180. Cool, so get Skateboarding Made Simple. It is very inexpensive. It is available on three different platforms, BrailleSkateboarding.com, iBooks, and on Google Play. So definitely check it out. You can get it from your cell phone on those other platforms as well. Thanks for watching. You guys are the bomb.